We're here at the El Dorado High School. The purpose? A hearing. To continue the uh, grant or gift of uh, your land to the United States Air Force. For what purpose? Commander Bill Personal. Well, we have uh, a big mission here that we do on the Nellis Air Force Range. Primarily involves the testing of aircraft, the development of tactics, and the training of air crew so that we can be ready on a moment's notice to go anywhere in the world and uh, do our job, defend the United States and, and its interests abroad. At the moment, the Commander in Chief of the United States Air Force is uh, before a Congressional Judiciary Committee on charges of treason, of uh, sexual misconduct, of perjury. He's at the point uh, or at the brink of impeachment. Now, you take your orders from him, is that correct? That's correct, I do. Regardless of what crime he may be guilty of. Absolutely. He's the commander-in-chief, and uh, I'm responsible through the military chain of command and the appointed civilian authorities over me to work for the President of the United States. This is, of course, of great concern to many people who consider uh, him to be less than worthy of the office. Uh, but in your capacity, you're going to be asked to engage in acts of war, uh, supposedly for defending the United States of America. Uh, there was a bombing recently in Khartoum, in the Sudan. There was no trial. There was certainly no conviction. And to the best of my knowledge, no evidence that there was terrorist activities. Who conducted that, that uh, bombing of the people in Khartoum? Uh, I have no idea. I take a look at this area right here. Um, if one came down from the Hancock Pass and went out the Rune Lloyd Lake uh, Road uh, towards the facility, I noticed there's an extra 4,000 acres that were given to uh, the Air Force. Uh, for additional security. Why was that 4,000 acres there? Much of the uh, land that you see here, 97% of it, in fact, is, is fairly impacted by Air Force use of the range. Uh, the 97% that I'm talking about is actually used for safety and security buffers. The, uh, the footprint of the weapons that we use these days, the, the amount of land or that's within range of one of these bombs that we can drop today is quite large. And therefore, we need a large buffer for public safety. Nobody wants a bomb falling in their backyard, and that's what this is here to protect against. Well, the 4,000 acres, which would include White Sides and uh, Freedom Ridge, which overlook the Groom Lake facility. This falls within the category of uh, safety and security buffer land. Safety and security. Why was it not safe and secure to be on the mountain a week ago and yet two years ago, three years ago, was safe and secure? Why, why have you asked for the additional 4,000 acres? I understand your concern. Yes. And, uh, there certainly is a, a process that we go through, a legal process that's guided by the National Environmental Policy Act and the laws that we have in this country to uh, to carefully consider each land withdrawal in this process. There are many classified activities that occur on our range. Obviously, if we're developing tactics and testing aircraft such as the F-22 and the B-2, we don't want to give an opportunity for uh, potential adversaries to be able to watch what we're doing. It's sort of like having a, a football practice and having the opposing team that you can play the next weekend come in and watch that practice. Well, in this country, the uh, conservative camp, or the quote, vast right-wing conspiracy, if you want to call it, uh, are very concerned about what's happening at Area 51, the Groom Lake facility. Does the Groom Lake facility exist? The Air Force has acknowledged the existence of an operating location near Groom Lake. The Secretary of the Air Force, though, has reviewed the nature of that uh, installation and its classification and determined that the classification of it is proper. It is proper, uh, but for the safety and security of the people, 
of the United States and anyone going up on white sides and the freedom rich. Is there any reason why they would be not safe if they went up there now? Again, much of the rangeland that we have here is a safety and security buffer. The, the lines are drawn this way in order to provide both public safety when we're dropping live munitions, as well as security for the uh, classified tactics and other things we might be developing on the range. There has been a number of individuals who have gone to uh, hospitals uh, claiming uh, injuries or diseases or great trauma and stress as a result of having worked out at the Area 51 or Groom Lake facility. And yet the Supreme Court just days ago has denied their claim to any uh, remuneration for injuries done to them. Uh, some people have said they've been discarded like toilet paper and simply flushed away. Uh, what is the Air Force's uh, concerned about these individuals now? Uh, the Air Force is proud of its environmental and occupational health and safety record. We are, like the rest of the federal government, subject to public law and public oversight. The uh, National Environmental Policy Act and the uh, Resources uh, Reclamation and Conservation Act, RIPRA, spell out certain codes that we have to comply with. Uh, all of our activities on the range are inspected by the EPA and but, state regulators. Yeah, but, uh, but these individuals have claimed injury, and uh, one individual has something like scales on them, you know, and uh, they claim to be dying. And yet, if you were concerned about that, what have you done about that? Well, it's, it's not my job to do anything in particular about any of that. I have no personal knowledge of these cases. But again, the Secretary of the Air Force has reviewed this information carefully and determined that the classification of it is important and right. Well, they, that may, might be classified as to how they got into the condition they got. Have you been using bacteriological, chemical, or biological warfare weaponry on this range which could have caused that damage to those people. Again, uh, information related to that facility is, is merely limited to the acknowledgement of an operating location near Groom Lake. Uh, other information associated with that is classified. Discussion about the existence of anti-gravitational flying disks. Some people talk about them coming from outer space. Others say that they have been manufactured here in the United States for the purpose of creating an illusion of an attack from space like in H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. In other words, to create a, a panic project to frighten the public and get them to surrender their rights for a global government. Do you now, or have you ever, tested anti-gravitational flying discs on the Nellis Air Force Range, either at the S-4 area, nine miles south of the Green Lake facility, or out of the Green Lake facility, or any other base within the Nellis Range? My responsibilities as the Dallas Range Commander uh, are to ensure that we provide a good training environment for development of new aircraft such as the F-22, the uh, B-2, and older aircraft such as the F-15 where we develop tactics and modify tactics on a periodic basis. Does that include the Aurora? Once, once these aircraft such as the F-22 and the F-15 come into the inventory, we have a responsibility to train these aircrews. So we use the range as a training ground for F-15, F-16, F-22 someday pilots to be able to develop their tactics and train for uh, large-scale military operations to defend the interests of the United States and, our, and its citizens abroad. But in answer to my question, which you did not answer, have you now or ever had knowledge or been engaged in uh, testing of anti-gravitational flying discs within the Nellis air, you know, uh, range 
we're taking a look at here on the map. That certainly doesn't fall within my uh, scope of uh, responsibility. Are you saying that you have not? I have no personal knowledge of anything like that. Have you been at the Grim Lake facility? Again, when it comes to Grim Lake, we can officially acknowledge its existence, but beyond that, the information regarding it is classified. But have you? That wouldn't be classified if, if I simply asked Commander Bill Percival if you have been at the Green Lake Range. Again, the Air Force is strictly limited in the scope of its comments on the facility near Green Lake to only its existence. And uh, any other information is classified. It's been reviewed by the Secretary of the Air Force and determined that that classification is correct. Then am I correct in saying that it is classified? You cannot tell me whether you have been on the range or not. Sir, I can't tell you any more than I've already told you. I thought so. Thank you. Okay, thank you.